Okay, here's solutions problem 41 off the GRE subject math practice test. Uh, kind of an interesting problem. We got L is a line of intersection of these planes. <clears throat> and what I want is in the is an equation of the plane that contains the origin and is perpendicular to this line. So you're like, oh, perpendicular to a line. Cool, that's my normal vector. Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, and so if I want the equation of a line, I'll use the point normal form. So my normal vector and the dot product of that and any vector that lies on my plane has got to be equal to zero because the normal vector is orthogonal to any vector on my plane. So their dot product is defined to be equal to zero. And this represents any vector on my plane because uh, P is an arbitrary point on my plane, X, Y, Z. And P naught is a point on my plane. And conveniently enough for me, this problem gives me a point on my plane. And it's the origin, which makes things especially nice. So really, this problem boils down to finding the normal vector. Uh, so we'll figure that out over here. Uh, the way I'm going to find the normal vector is by solving my system of linear equations. So I got x plus y plus z equals 3. And x minus y plus z equals 5. And you can see the test tape makers made this system very easy to solve. If you subtract the two equations, you get y minus negative y, in other words, 2y, is equal to 3 minus 5, negative 2. So you get y equals negative 1. If you add the equations, the y's go away, and I get 2x uh, plus 2z equals 8. Uh, in other words, x plus z equals 4. Uh, so what's going on here is, let's see, maybe I can draw a picture poorly drawn three-dimensional picture. Maybe I need to switch colors. So let's throw the Z over here and X over here and Y over here. What I'm saying is that the intersection of these two planes, I'm not gonna try to sketch the planes, but I can sketch their line of intersection, will always have a Y coordinate equal to negative one. So I'm talking about right there. But then I need X plus Z to be equal to four. So for example, when the X coordinate equals four, the Z coordinate should be equal to zero. So let's see how well I can draw this. This point right here should be on my line of intersection. Similarly, when the x coordinate equals zero, the z coordinate should be equal to four. Silence my phone, or at least not answered it in the middle of a video. Uh, what I was getting at here is the y coordinate is always negative one, and the x coordinate plus the z coordinate has to equal four. So when the x coordinate is four, the z coordinate is zero. When the x-coordinate is 0, the z-coordinate is 4. But remember, my y-coordinate has to be at negative 1. So I'm talking about this point over here. So you can kind of see the line of intersection. It's this line. Ooh, that's not a great line, but good enough. Pretend that's a line. It's this line right here. But be careful. This right here doesn't define the line. Like, really what I want is a vector that defines this line right here. But this thing is kind of shifted over. This line doesn't go through the origin. So you have to be a little bit careful. The way you can figure out a vector that represents this line is by finding two points on the line. I've specified two already here. This point here has an x coordinate of four, a y coordinate of negative one, and a z coordinate of zero. Whereas this point up here has an x coordinate of zero, a y coordinate of negative one, and a z coordinate of four. So I can come up with a vector that represents the direction of this line by subtracting these two points. If I take, uh, I don't know, down here, I guess, 4, negative 1, 0, and subtract uh, 0, negative 1, 4. Oh, let's see, 4 minus 0 is 4. Negative 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 1 minus negative 1 is 0. And 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So what this is, is a normal vector. This, okay, what this is, is a vector that represents this line. And this line right here is perpendicular to my plane. So this is what I would use as my normal vector. I could let my normal vector be equal to 4, 0, negative 4. Or if I felt like I could make it 1, 0, negative 1. Just scaling it. Uh, to make my life a little bit easier, because if I have 1, 0, negative 1 here, and I find the dot product of that and, let's see, P minus P naught, 
well, P is X, Y, Z, and P naught is zero, zero, zero. So I'll get X minus zero, Y minus zero, Z minus zero, and set that equal to zero uh, from this equals zero. That will give me the equation of my line. So the dot product, one times X gives me X, zero times Y gives me zero. Sure, um, fine, overkill. Negative one times Z gives me negative one Z. That equals zero. I can clean this up a little bit by saying X minus Z equals zero. This right here will be the equation of the plane that contains this point and is perpendicular to this vector here, which is the same as this vector right here. Uh, so my answer, X minus Z equals zero, would be answer A.